According to the Nigeria Bureau of Statistics, small and medium scale enterprises in Nigeria have contributed about 48% of the national GDP in the last five years. President of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria at the Stakeholders Conference in Lagos says enough has not been done to address bottlenecks that mitigate the growth of the sector. We have details in this report. In South Africa, small and medium enterprises account for 91% of businesses, 60% of employment opportunities and contribute 52% to the total GDP. In Nigeria, SMEs also contribute 48% of national GDP, account for 96% of businesses and 84% of employment opportunities. Despite the significant contribution of SMEs to the Nigerian economy, challenges still persist that hinder the growth and development of the sector. These professionals gather here to steer the cause for further entrepreneurship development in the country, but first acknowledge challenges that are not necessarily new. One of the challenges which has hindered entrepreneurship development in Nigeria is lack of enabling environment as entrepreneurs are constantly faced with power outages, bad roads, lack of access to finance, etc. It's therefore important for the government to channel its efforts towards improving infrastructure and creating an environment for SMEs to thrive in order to accelerate the pace of economic growth in Nigeria. There are 41 million Nigerian entrepreneurs in the statistics done by the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics and SMEDA, and less than 2 percent are running a successful business. Beyond these challenges, a roadmap is set clear for entrepreneurs from financial discipline to understand and market trends. You need to know your customer, you need to have good knowledge of your product, and you have to have the passion for um, what you're trying to do. I would like to add three more. The first thing, number one, you need to be well trained in financial matters. You need your P&L, but also you need your cash flow. Just because revenue is coming in doesn't mean you'll survive. If you don't get uh, your debts paid on time or money coming in at the right time, you will go out of business very quickly. The Bank of Industry also highlights steps to foster women inclusion across different industries. Economically empowering women is, is very important. And from experience as well, from the people we've dealt with in terms of entrepreneurship, is, is a known fact that women actually pay back loans better than men. In the last 18 months alone, we've disbursed loans of about 26 billion to over 400 women led businesses with the potential to grow and create jobs that will contribute to economic development. For these bankers here receiving their licenses, the charge is to remain true in rendering financial services, acknowledging values on sincerity and integrity. As well as privileges. An all in one solutions hub has just been launched in Lagos. The state government says the platform will help to provide solutions to the challenges of the fast-growing economy of the state. Karima Salami reports. Technology is fast shaping the way we live 